Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Well, did you know that you can change the position of your seams on your models when you're printing them? You can. Okay, so I'm in Bamboo Studio right now, as you can see, and I'll show you how you can change the location of your seam, right? So first of all, we need an object. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go in here, we're gonna right click, we're gonna go to add primitive and take whatever, right? We'll do a cube, okay. Now, now where's the seam on my cube? I don't know, because it didn't slice it yet, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on slice plate that should take a very, very short time. And you can see that in white here, that's what it says seams. That's where my seam is. Now let's say this is a model of a character and the seam is running straight through the character's face. How can you fix that? Right? Okay. Let's say this is the back of his head. That's where I want it to be. Okay. Now what I can do is I can go back to the prepare tab. I can go and click on this uh, uh, little icon right here, scene painting, or I can hit the letter P on the keyboard. Click on that and I can now literally brush down here where I want the seam to be. Okay. So I got that done and I'm going to slice it again. And there you go. Now the seam is in that location. That's how easy that is, right? So try and hide that seam in the places where it's uh, least visible um, and try to think about natural seams. So when it comes to, let's say, clothing, I don't know, uh, under armpits, in the back or where natural seams would be, let's say on a T-shirt, that kind of thing. Right. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you in this uh, very short video. Nevertheless, I hope it's useful. If it is, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. And I'll love to see you guys in the next one. Right. Bye.